Hey guys, I am back. It's Marisa. How are ya? Welcome to my channel. How is everyone doing? I just wanted to share this with you. I said I was organizing in my space and um, my husband actually bought himself a new dresser drawer and so he was using this contraption here to store some of his stuff and I took it and I used it much better for my paintings and so my art supplies and then I have some uh, other stuff and like cards and um, like business cards stuff like that in there and I changed some of my paintings out because I am giving some of those as gifts so I have some of my new ones up up there and up there and this one here this may be a gift too that one and yes yeah, so it looks so much better and I got new batteries for my little LED pink lights so I am really happy I just cleaned up a whole bunch of stuff and I organized everything so much better so I am gonna tell you what we're gonna do today we are going to do a Christmas pour, okay? And I will be right back, and I will show you exactly what we're doing. We're just going to use some Christmas colors. We could use some gold, red, green, and white, okay? I will be right back, and then I'm going to show you how these guys dried. They're pretty dry. I would say 90% dry from yesterday's pour with a leftover paint. Okay, so here's a little aerial view, and I will be back in two seconds. Hey guys, how are you? I'm back. All right, so for the gold, we're going to be using the Montmartre, okay, gold, with the Montmartre um, acrylic flow medium that goes with that. Hopefully these paints uh, behaved and played nicely together. Um, we're going to be using the Pouring Masters um, in Grass Green, um, the Pouring Masters in Red Hot, and the Pouring Masters in Titanium White. And those three colors are mixed with its own medium, the, um, the Gloss Pouring Medium, okay? It's a real simple pour today. There's some nice uh, Christmassy colors for the holidays. Um, and yeah, that's it. That's what we're going to be doing today, okay? And we're gonna, I'm going to be using, um, I'm going to be doing a strain of pour. And I'm using a 8x10 canvas today, okay? I think maybe this Sunday I'm supposed to be going out with a friend of mine. We're going to Manhattan, so I may do a little vlog. That would be cool because there may be a lot of lights and decorations out in Manhattan. So we'll see. Hopefully I can do that. She probably won't want to be on camera, but that's cool. I don't have to get her. I want to get the, um, or maybe she will. Who knows? So let me get over here. And let me bring this light a little. There we go. Try not to get the ring light so bright. So these, so it did have a lot of texture. Like I said, it's 90% dry, but I still love it. I'll say it again, I like texture. I think it's pretty cool. So that's how that one dried. Okay, with the black, negative black space. I love the way that pops out. And this one, let's get that out. Uh, there we go. This one dried much smoother. It is a little muddy and dark, but the, some of the colors did um, pop out pretty nicely anyway. It is a lot of yellows um, and oranges. But, you know, it's not my favorite painting. It's not a big deal. Um, I do like this one better. But I am glad either way... Um, I use the paint up whether I like this one or not you know it's not my favorite but you know what 
I could always wipe it down, I could coat it with something else, and um, I could always uh, reuse it and paint over it. Not a big deal. This one, this guy I'm definitely keeping, even though you, know, you never know what's in those cups when you have all those leftover paint. So sometimes maybe a little thick, maybe it was drying a little bit, but I love the texture anyway. So I'm definitely going to keep this one. This one, eh, I'm, you know, not fond of it to say the least, but that is okay. So let's get started with the pour. Like I said, we're going to be doing Christmas colors today, and we're doing a strainer pour. So I will be right back with the pour. Okay, see you in a sec.
Hey guys, I'm back. Wow, I really, really love the way this came out. This was really cool. I love this little part right here. Yes, my nails are off. They had to go. Um, this is really cool. I love the way this came out. All the colors are in here. Um, actually, the Pouring Masters didn't give me a tremendous amount of trouble with the bubbles today. So I am happy with that. So far, these two paints work really well together. And we'll see how it dries, but I am hoping that it dries really cool. Because um, this is really cool. This is like a little Christmas tornado in here. I love the way this came out. I'm really happy with it. So I hope it dries well. And, uh, and so far, so good. I am not mad at it at all. Um, I'm going to give it a little time and see what else it does. Because like I said, sometimes the paint continues to react for a while. But so far, so good. I don't think I have to torch it again, and that's always a good thing. I don't like over-torching it either. But I'm going to check it one more time and check all the sides, and it is done. So I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, let me give you a little, um, let me give you a little zoom in. There we go. Cool. All right, guys, so that's it for today. I know this was a short video. Usually my videos are like 20, 30 minutes long. This is a quick one today. I have a pretty busy weekend, so I just wanted to do a quick video for you, and I hope you enjoyed it. So if you did, give me a little like, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.